rightswingfolks.com. Republican Representative Martha McSally might end up serving in the Senate, despite losing to far-left Democratic Representative Kristen Sinema in Arizona's Senate election. Arizona Republican Senator John Keel, who was picked by Arizona's governor to fill the vacancy left by the late Senator John McCain, might not serve until the end of his term in 2020, according to CNN. Keel hasn't revealed yet if he's going to leave office, but he's talking it over with Arizona Governor Doug Ducey. If he does leave, it seems like McSally would be the obvious replacement. Martha McSally would be a very good member of the United States Senate, however she got there, Keel told CNN. I regret that she didn't make it in her election. McSally is also supported by Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who is apparently trying to convince Ducey to choose her as Keel's replacement. This is good news for McSally, who lost in an extremely close race against her far-left opponent. In fact, the election was so close that Sinema won days after the election as additional votes were counted. McSally was leading Sinema by 16,000 votes the day after the election, but mail-in ballots pushed Sinema into the lead. Some observers suspect election fraud could be involved and not without reason. McSally might have been able to avoid a close race altogether if she was effective in rallying conservatives. Conservative groups were dubious of McSally's run from the start because of her lackluster legislative track record and willingness to work with former President Barack Obama. However, Keel certainly has faith in McSally's ability to do a great job in the Senate. I can't think of anybody more qualified than Martha McSally, he said. But there's no guarantee McSally will get the spot. Ultimately, that decision would be up to Ducey. Keel told CNN that he didn't want to influence the governor's decision, adding that it is strictly the governor's job and he's got a lot of factors to consider and I'm not getting in the way of that. If McSally is given the opportunity, hopefully she will help President Donald Trump in his agenda in the Senate. That could make it easier to get elected outright come 2020.